So we got here is a couple of laser tanks that we built. Uh, here we have our controllers, they're wireless. One tank shoots a laser at the other tank and they have photo um, transistors on all the sides surrounding it which pick up the laser shot and um, tell you whether you get damaged or not. Graphical LCD right here that um, has, your, has your menu and it has a little picture of the tank which will display damage uh, when you get hit. Um, if you uh, were to select regular mode right now, it would uh, take you into regular mode and um, turn on the, um, the buttons right here. We have uh, two D-pads for directional control and then turret control over here on the set. And then we also have a other button on the top for firing the laser. So we got we got um, directional control there, and then we have turret control up and down on the buttons like that. So if you go to regular mode, um, it'll move into that, and it'll display your current damage. Uh, and so if you get hit, it'll drop your damage, and it'll change the colors of the buttons on the controller themselves. Right there. So 75% damage, 50% damage, and then we're done. Fire the lasers at one another. And I think I just hit him. Yeah, yeah. you got 75% damage there. Yep. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sound when you shoot the laser. So you hear that? You hear that shoot the laser sound? So here we have our uh, main processing unit. This is an Atmel 162, or Atmega 162, which is uh, controlling the whole uh, robot based on the wireless input here, which is, this is our wireless card, which is wirelessly linked to the controller here. So here we've got an H-bridge that run it, that's able to reverse the polarity of the motors um, based on the signals from the controller. Uh, we have a power card here that's just running all the power for the system. A relay for the uh, laser on the top in the turret, and then we also have a sound card here that, based on the different outputs from the main controller, will output different sounds using the freakout command and pick. The turret, the servo here, is linked directly to the microcontroller. The outputs using a 50 hertz uh, pulsed or modulated Dewey cycle to control which direction and which position it is in. Controller here, um, which has your um, has your double-sided printed circuit board that we etched, uh, photo etched ourselves. Um, it has the wireless controller, and then the um, the microcontroller is actually on the opposite side of the circuit board, um, so it's a little bit protected behind the GLCD. And so we have a potentiometer right here to adjust the amount of brightness and contrast on your um, graphical LCD display. The wireless transmitter, which is communicating serially with the the tanks, um, it just sends out a, a character to the tank which the microcontroller and the tank picks up and responds accordingly.